friends and welcome to my channel. I'm Yoshida and this is Norris Cove. You guys, I'm getting ready to switch from this planner, which is the Philofax Richmond. I'm going to go with the Motown Personal. I have it right here. I just did an unboxing video, but when I went back to like edit it, the camera had shifted, so it was nothing like in frame. So nonetheless, I'll do a setup of this video, but before a setup of that planner excuse me but before i do i wanted to do just a flip through this planner has been good to me this first what three weeks of the year i really you guys had no intentions on you well i'm not gonna say intentions i just didn't think i was going to like this planner as much as i did i tried it last year which i've stated in another video probably a couple of videos that I tried uh, minimal planning in this last year or just planning period, and it just didn't work for me. Um, not that it didn't work. I just got sidetracked with stickers. So I'm just going to do a quick flip through of how my week. I've taken some things out since the last video you guys have seen. So I'm just going to go through what it's looking like now, how I have it set up, and then I'll do a video on me setting up my term. So this is what I have. I have these little... Um, transparent dots they're sticking all the way through and these just are reminders for me let me show you what they look like so something stuck there it is i have all kinds of sticky notes so they look like this you can get them from the office depot and i run them through my printer i was handwriting them at first and then i saw shakisha um, she had hers printed. I said, that looks so much neater. You know, I had hit her up like, how do you do this? But she might have been busy. So I figured it out myself. And that's all you do. Stick it on a piece of paper, run it through the printer, put it in Word. Um, these are pretty much the same things. I have this page divider from Panda Bird. Um, these little notes I got from AliExpress. I've ordered some more. And these little freebies, um, this is just PR samplers, and this is from Nikki Plus 3. Um, but I think going forward, when I move into my new um, planner, I'm gonna, I'm not going to have so much deco. And then this came from Simply Gilded. And then here is another cloth and paper sticky note, just to remind me of my word of the year. This little note setting to take and pay this ticket, which I ain't paid yet. And this clip, so like I said, everything here is just pretty much the same from before. And then I made me some of these, which I'm going to redo because they're not really what I want. And I don't know. Anyway, and then I have this Ollie clip here. And again, this is a piece of acetate from Michaels. This is a clear divider that I made with the bow from Simply Gilded. What I'll do is I'll leave a um, card up top of like basically my flip through of this. And I want to just show you guys how the month and the week has gone. So I've added this. This is new. This is from Cloth and Paper. Um, I just wanted a clear monthly divider overview. And this is the one I had before. I just kept it because I already had my dates marked. And this is the month. How the month has gone. And back here, I'm debating if I want new monthly inserts but i think i'm thinking these will just work for me so i've already kind of started a little bit of pre-planning in february because i just had some things i needed to make reminders of that i just didn't want to forget and i did a little bit in may because i go on vacation in may so may is um i already have that marked off and then let's see anything different here not really. Those are still the same. I've added these little tabs that I got from AliExpress. And that's just to help me get to what I normally go to quicker. Even though I have these. This is only if I'm looking at it this way, which I very seldom, I know, notice. Very seldom look at my planner this way. I mainly look at my planner this way. So bottom tabs would have probably been best. Or this way. So this is just how I get to everything. And then this is my a new insert that I'm trying that I'm really, 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 really loving. And it's from Peanuts Planner Co. And what I like about it is it's like putting your top five, top seven 
things down every day, things that need to be done. And you have daily trackers here. Um, you can turn these two into whatever you want. I have to buy to pay. And then there are another thing, other two other columns over here. You can use these for dinners, uh, lunches. I mean, what other things that you can track Monday through Sunday. I really love this insert. It helps me get my daily planning together. So I'll show you all about that later. And then here I have the weekly so that I can just get to it because I found myself trying to look for this and I have it where it comes out and I'll show you guys when I show you how I weekly plan here in that. So there's nothing else left there. And then here are the inserts that I make. Um, I've actually revised these inserts and this is for my other business with my coworker. Um, the Beauty Budget Pros insert, and this is how I've been tracking my um, daily income. So now I need to go back and add all those up. Oh. Okay, it's stuck on some. Oh, okay. And so I have these stuck together with another Ollie clip. This was the first week of January, the second week, and then this was last week, the third. And I kind of came in here, but I really didn't need it with that first week, with that weekly overview and daily planning, but some things could be put in here. And then another reminder of the things that I had to pay. I love this because um, when I basically didn't decorative plan, I had pretty much this in a notebook. And I wouldn't go in that notebook, but it was all the things that I needed to pay. But when I would go in that notebook, those things got done. And the stuff got done. <laughs> so um, I'm loving that part of the sticky note, the transparent note, and just go day by day. I use the page flags, the transparent page flags from cloth and paper, kind of like a highlighting situation. As you can see, I do still do a little bit of stickering. Um, I want to learn lettering this year. So I'm just trying different, uh, I guess, letters or, you know, writing techniques and things like that. So even some little scribbles or whatever you want to call that. So actually we can pull this together and get ready for next week. Now the reason there is not a next week in here because she was full and I just need to pull out some more paper and add it and then we'll go into the next one. So then here's daily. Um, here there's nothing much changed here. I just added the papers from, uh, excuse me, the sticky dots from AliExpress. And that's it. Everything else is the same. And it's still holding on by a paper clip. I actually have a zip pocket from Filofax coming. They weren't that much on Amazon, but it's going to take a while. So I'll just wait. And then here I added this little um, card insert from Filofax. I ordered it from Instagram. And I just keep my flag pages in here because I reach for those pretty much. So that's another reason this is probably too thick. And then we get into the dailies. This is what I started out with from Brooklyn Grace Co. And I liked it, but I found that I write very big. So things are kind of tiny on here for me, you know. But then when I got these from Peanuts Planner Co. Oh, oh. <laughs> so here I did a little coding. I was like, yes, this is what I need. And for some reason, I don't know, it's the same size paper. I don't know if you can tell my writing. Let me see. I can rip it out because I plan to get rid of it anyway. But to me, my writing is a little bigger here. Of here, I write a little smaller. But I just like it. You know, I just like this better. And I'm in love with these dailies. Oh, my God. I'm in love with these dailies. As you can see, I could be more creative. Because you have the grid marks. So I'm more creative um, with these inserts. Matter of fact, let me take this out. And so I got, you know, this little stickers and I started to add more stickers to it. And it's still minimal planning, but with a few little functional stickers. And these can be found in my shop. These mocha fraps, um, Starbucks mocha fraps can be found in my shop. And also this, which I need to add back. And these, so I just took some little functional stickers from my shop and just started figuring out the flow of this uh, daily spread. And I'm loving it. And these are from Scribble Prints Co. And then here are the AliExpress dots. That's from my shop, my shop, and then uh, Panda Bird. And so that's pretty much the week. And again, I use those sticky tabs just to highlight things that got done. 
and then I'm on this page so I laid the flag here and then I took my um, label machine and made these daily tabs that way I can get to it at first I was going off of color and then I'm like girl you need to know because you don't remember the colors because the colors mean a bunch of things now so just type it in so that way it doesn't matter if I use a sticky note um, or the sticky tab in another section is named so it doesn't matter and this is kind of the thing that I'm going with this color Tombow uh, marker here I believe it's nine nine two I believe is the number of the marker and again as you can see I'm just trying different um, handwriting things that I want to try just to make it look cute and different little you know different types of things and so this was yesterday and this is today so today is Sunday and these two are also in my shop now these candles so yeah that is it for the week kind of flip through like I like I said everything else is still the same I still have this insert that so things will be changing once I do the setup and then my favorite section in my planner is my list section because I'm a lister okay I just love listing stuff and I've just made it work for me I tried to color code them which is mm, it's working but I'm gonna have a list anyway so as you can see some areas that was just me wiping off the darkness once I ran it across the pen and that way once I fill it in I can just check it off and I just have different sections I have grocery um, hair and beauty this is basically my everyday business so these are the things that I need and I just check them off as I get them um, what I need in my Etsy shop my personal needs home needs things I need for the house and then I decided each of my family members need a list so my daughter my son and my husband uh, my daughter's in college as many of you know so she needs certain things um she so I just write down things that she need you know that she may need or do need and as I get them I will check them off and with her it's mainly money <laughs> so that's listening will be that long and then um here with my son it, he doesn't really need much but sometimes I'll get him to help me here in the office like pick up or throw trash out paper out for me so I'll pay him ten dollars just for helping out and then my husband like just reminders I guess for him and then I have a capsule wardrobe list of things that I want in my capsule wardrobe. And I'm just starting this, so I'm just, this list is very short. And then the planner shops that I want to try. So once I try the shops, click it off. Because before um, making a list of planner shops, I would see things on Instagram that I want, or shops that I wanted to try, but I would forget. And then I love supporting people. So now when I see them, I just make a list. I write their name down and then I'll go back and try them. And once I try them, I just check them off. And then I have bulk trash coming. So I needed to make a list of the things that I needed to add to the bulk trash. When I made the list, I didn't, <laughs> I know we need to take our fridge out, our old fridge out. And that's the only thing I can remember and some old computers. And I didn't get the rest of these things. So I have to go back in and set up another appointment. And then planner things that I want. You know, this is kind of like wish list for my planner. And these are just things that I've listed. And then I decided I needed a grocery list because um, I'm going to the grocery store tomorrow. So I just made a running list of all the things I'm gonna try to buy for the month. And then here I'm going to Vegas in May. And this is kind of like my vacation marker. So I decided to make a, a packing list here for that. And so I'm, as you can see, I have a lot of lists. I need to make lists all the time. So. That is that. And then finances and budget. And this here is from Brooklyn Grace Co. Again, I thought it was kind of small, but then I found a way to kind of make it work. It's like my budget overview. And I take this, compare it to the month. And then I have different sections, my spending tracker, and then um, bills that are on auto pay or things like that. I've just set up different section monthly bills. I have a list of monthly bills and then I can check them off. So the finance section kind of is needed. And I kind of like this overview because it just gives me a better idea of what I'm making, what I'm spending. But this breaks everything down. Each kind of bill has its own individual page. I messed up this page. So I have to go back. But um, yeah, that's it. And then this is the same 
And then back here, I just did a little color coding. And then here's a brain dump. And once I kind of complete something on the brain dump, I'll just mark it off and pretty much any type of marker. Here's me practicing my lettering. And okay, I was gonna say, I did some grid paper, but I think this grid paper is from Peanuts Planner Co. And then here's my inbox. And again, here's where those translucent stickies come in handy again. Things that I just need to be reminded of. Some things may be doubled, but um, like my Capital One, my Barclays, my Gym, my Two Buddy, all that stuff was paid. But I just believe seeing it is more of a reminder. And to me, it's just gonna get done. Um, this week, I need to make a key, subsections, which I kind of did, home self-care routine, word of the year. And my word of the year, I finally decided upon was focus and make journal cards. And I haven't done the journal cards yet. And then here, I need as a little reminder to add oil change to the next week um, on my top five priority. And then I have this new insert, which is from Cloth and Paper, which is Inbox. And I had made my own, but I really wanted this one. So they had it in personal, so I went in and ordered it. And here's my morning routine. Well, I'll say ideal morning routine and ideal evening routine. And then here is um, my planning routine. So I wrote my planning routine out to type it up. And I'm still kind of adding to it, taking away. So it's just right now as in my inbox to give attention to. And then here's my order tracker. Matter of fact, I have some things to check off. And then that's it. And then I have this. And same thing as last time. So that's a quick flip through before I set up my no term. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions or any um, things you want to just add, please leave me a message in the comment. Let me know what you think. Um, do you like minimal planning? I'm going to be doing some minimal planning. I'll still be doing stickering here and there, but not as much. Um, I'm just kind of moving towards the minimal planning and I actually love it and I just want to share it with you all. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.